and things to know to start your day. Number one, it has been more than a week since Hurricane Harvey first made landfall, and just now those living in West Houston have been told to evacuate. That area of the city could see flooding for two more weeks as the Army Corps of Engineers continues to release water into a nearby bayou to prevent dams from cracking. Number two this morning, North Korea has carried out its most powerful nuclear test to date on Sunday, claiming to have developed an advanced hydrogen bomb that could sit atop an intercontinental ballistic missile. The move has leaders in the U.S. looking at more ways to step up the pressure on North Korea. Number three, continuing today, and it's happened all weekend long, it's the annual fourth, the fourth annual Big River Steampunk Festival in Hannibal. It's one of the largest steampunk events in the country. Hosted by the Hannibal History Museum Foundation, this festival is a cross between the Victorian age and science fiction. Number four, scientists in Europe are now exploring the link between attention deficit disorder and sleep problems. About 75% of children and adults with ADHD struggle with sleep, and doctors say the condition may have more to do with sleep disturbances than previously thought. Number five, the Iowa State Penitentiary will host another round of tours at the historic prison site. The new tour dates aims to raise money for reports that will allow the Department of Corrections to release the property to the private sector for further developments. Also this morning, the rescue shelter Paws in Jacksonville is collecting animal supplies, checks and cash. They've teamed up with another rescue shelter in Texas. Once there, the team will head to Beaumont to help other animals. And number seven, temperatures across the region. Pretty nice this morning. Look for the mid uh, 60s to lower 70s to start off your Labor Day, where we're expecting to see those temperatures really soar close to 90 this afternoon. But don't get too comfortable with that. Big changes come our way. I'll have that uh, Labor Day forecast along with your seven day forecast coming up.